And here comes another one of the challenge, Rise of Two Heart Sink. And this one is about the 5D U again. So, who is the 5D U? When is it happening? When does it start? It started already. You may already live more 5D than you think. Yeah, sometimes 3D is still trying to get hold of you. Sometimes you have things to finish in 3D. Sometimes it tries to trap you. It can happen. It's okay. But more importantly than recognizing the, the 3D temptations and, and restrictions and the traps is that you find your own twist in 5D. So number one is really claim your 5D version, your 5D U right now. Because you can. And because the energies are aligned and we're in March 2023 where it all happens. We are moving into Aquarius for the first time for three months until June 10th. The Equinix is a huge portal to come in and all the other astrological things that are happening. So y yeah, I mean, you could live in five, you could have lived in five Ds for the last five years. I guess many of us have started to live in the 5D U, our version of, of I, from 2012. It's a gradual thing. So when you find your own twist, that means that you start really looking to see through the eyes of your 5D U, all that we've been talking about. But predominantly it is about looking through the eyes of love, looking through the eyes of grace. And the other points are very equally important and I don't want to miss them. It is about looking beyond the veils. So if 3D tries to trap you, provoke you, pull you in, see beyond the veils. I give you an example. When we get trapped again in some drama, in some fear, in, in, in being stuck, which is a 3D thing, it's important to look beyond. Sometimes you can do this on your own. Often it comes in symbols and metaphors for me. Sometimes you can work with somebody like us, there's other people who do this. But sometimes you need a little external insight and work. People have different gifts. So when 3D tries to get you and you are not in that higher vibration, you are not hard saying, then it's difficult and you're stuck. Find out first for yourself or get someone. So what does that mean looking beyond the veils? It means to see what's actually happening beyond karma what's happening beyond what keeps you on this roller coaster on this um, on this spill that just doesn't get you out it can be many different things sometimes we we have created something with karma sometimes it is in your our lineage karma is the soul's journey so it can be many different things it can be that you're stuck in the swamp so energetically the swamp being 3D, as long as you can't get out, symbolically, you continue going into the same thing. And it's not about you are not evolving, you're not learning, you are not interested. It means that something needs to be shifted. So if you're still in a swamp, well, maybe we need to dry out the swamp. Maybe we find another way for you to get out. Maybe we could build a bridge, maybe we could uh, build a staircase, something that comes in harmony that is relevant to you. I yes, it's easier to go in the meta into the metaphorical realms and the symbolic realms with that. There could be a, a cap around you that doesn't let you go beyond the rational. 
that doesn't let you be go beyond the 3D and the conditioned mind. How can we get rid of that cap? There's many different ways. If you work on your own, just be in your highest frequency and just ask how this can be done. If you're working with somebody, hopefully they know what they are doing. So th these are some examples. You could be stuck in a deep hole and a magnet holds you somewhere. Whenever you come out and see the light, poof, it pulls you back in. The, me the metaphors and symbols help us to understand that. And, and these are also ways to get out of the karma in, in a very positive, more than positive, in a very harmonious way. You're not fighting anyone, you're not blaming anyone, you're not judging anyone, you're not turning back the, the spell or the curse on anyone. You're simply getting out in one way or another. So this is when you are seeing beyond the veils. And this is when you have your own twist. So this is one important point. Please be aware, if, if you feel you can't do it on your own, then don't. There are people who know how to do that and have the gift for that. The next one that is important is stay in your truth, stay in your heart, stay in your choice. This is a very, very important one. Truth is bit plural because it's not absolute. You may have different truths. It doesn't mean that you don't listen to anyone. It doesn't mean that you don't collaborate. But don't step out of your truth. Your truth is your integrity. This is not your integrity as a persona, as a 3D human being. No, this is your divine integrity. It is in a way your sacredness. Don't give it away. And if you're clear about a choice, make it. Don't be afraid of what other people think and what what could be the consequences. You be surprised. I'm not saying your own twist of staying in the 3D you is easy. I'm not saying it. But I'm letting you know it is possible. And I know that there are many out there who know exactly what I'm talking about. And many of us, we have done it many times in many different ways. The third point that I want to alert you to here, to s have your own twist in your, 3D, in your 5D U, is actually to keep this unwavering grit. It's very easy to feel doubt. Is it all really working? It takes so long. Is that really my journey? Who am I? Am I really on this path? Yes, you are. Unwavering grit is more than discipline, is more than, it's more than, how should I say, it's more than fighting, it's more than any of this. It's just knowing this is my path and I'm going. And I may have my own twist, I may change some directions on the way, I may have my map, and that too can shift and break, and I make it again, but I'm going. I'm going on this path of shift, of ascension, of evolution, whatever resonates with you. So that unwavering grit is very important. It keeps you, your 5D you, it keeps you in the flow, and it keeps you in synchronicity. And synchronicity means that all is connected and all somehow comes together. When you step out of the synchronicity, you're losing your flow and you're also losing the magic and you're losing your path. When you can see synchronicity and you see how these all things connecting and it's not an accident or a coincidence, you are there. It takes unwavering grit. It's just how it is. Synchronicity, some of you may know the Celestine prophecy. It was one of the first insights and it's still a very important one. As you are in this synchronicity, you are also in synergy. 
and synergy is happening when one on one makes 25 or 260,000 whatever when you recognize that it's not you or somebody else controlling things come out in a very different way you are no longer fixing you allowing things to unfold you're living in synchronicity and synergy and it's your unwavering grit as the 5d you that is enabling that so i'm inviting you for that too because i can so let me know how this goes for you seeing beyond the veils and having your unwavering grit i see you no more thank you for being here and surely i let you know what else you can do <laughs>